here to talk today a little bit about email and some things we're doing in email and maybe some things that other companies could uh, potentially leverage. Um, so this should say my email is losing relevance. Um, we <laughs> Email is a good channel, but over time has become less and less relevant. This isn't a big news story, this isn't like news to anyone in this room, but it's very difficult to compete in that space. Um, there's a lot of emails showing up in the inbox. Um, 416 commercial messages a month, I know in my inbox it's much higher. Um, it's hard to compete in that space. Uh, we've, for years, we've, we've had an email program for probably close to 10 years. Um, when we started it, it had 30% open rates. Um, and we were getting good revenue, we'd send an email once a month. And then we would continue to um, like that. <laughs> so we would start to send emails t twice a month. And then it became once a week. And then it became twice a week. And then once that needle goes in, it's hard to pull it out. And you gotta, you know, you gotta keep putting it in to get those kind of same lifts year over year. And so you kind of come back around those, those cycles and it's really difficult to, to continue to build your list in that way. Because people unsubscribe, they get fatigued. So at Evo, we kind of stepped back and we, we said, we gotta think about this a little bit differently and think about alternative programs that we can introduce to make email more relevant. Um, in doing that, we evaluated a lot of different things. We looked at um, contesting, we looked at uh, different um, card abandonment strategies, um, a lot of different things. And a couple of them that I want to share with you today have been pretty successful. Um, two of the more successful ones, maybe shout out. Um, first one's a post-purchase support email. Um, the second one is a browse abandonment email. So it's a little bit different than a cart abandonment email that some of you may have heard of or experienced. So a post-purchase support email, what the heck is that? So you buy something at Evo, it's a highly technical product, maybe it's a ski boot. Um, we want to recreate the experience in the store as best we can digitally. It's difficult to do that when you're just a robot, you're a machine, you're, a, you're interacting with a, with a computer. And so we want to do things like, you know, tell them about the product that they bought, um, give them details about it. So if a ski boot is a very technical purchase, um, you try to tr you put a, take a ski boot out of a box and try to try it on your house, you might screw it up completely. And most people would. They don't take out the little ball of paper that's in the front, or they don't know how to like lean forward and bring your heel back into the heel pocket super difficult things before you've even tried it on. You're buying it online, you probably haven't even tried it on yet. So post-purchase, we're taking content, content that we already had, and we're just delivering it to people at the right moment. So you buy a pair of ski boots, you get a series of free emails, leading you to all content that we already had created on our website. Useful tips, how to try it on. Uh, the second one is how to make your boots better now that you've tried it on, how to customize them for a better experience. And then the third one is a cross-sell it's effectively a cross-sell, but that's not the intent. The intent's just to make your ski boot better, so you have a great time with it. So ski socks, it turns out, are a very important aspect of that. If you drop your fatty wool socks on there, you're gonna cut off the circulation of your toes, you're gonna have a terrible day in the mountain. That's not my fault, but I wanna inform you that you should probably get some better socks with your $300 new boots. So we're using Silverpop. Um, some other people, I think, in this room use that system. Um, it's essentially just an automated series that you set up on the back end. Um, and we're keying off of data that flows in um, on a daily basis, keying off of the re most recently purchased field. So it says, hey, if you, your most recently purchased field says ski boots, fire off these three emails. How has that resulted? So it's been great, right? Gigantic open rates compared to average and click-through rates just enormous through the roof. It's like transactional email, but it's like, it's part of the customer experience. So it's improving our deliverability, it's helping with the overall email program, um, and it's driving engagement. Difficulty is achieving scale, right? Because we have a lot of content on our site. We have maybe 50 or 100 guides that we can repurpose in this way, but we're kind of, you run out of content at some point. You run out of ideas. So there's a content problem, and then there's a frequency problem as well, because you can set up hundreds of these campaigns potentially to fire off. If they're not aware of each other, you, you get back into the same morass, the same quagmire of just too many emails um, to manage, and you get high on subscribe rates. So we looked at other other, other programs. Um, this one particularly is a it's it's called a shopping cart or a, sorry a window shopping abandonment email. So you've heard of cart abandonment emails. This is a little bit higher up in the funnel. Cart, not many people. Looking at the product page, lots of people. So that's the idea to harness that much larger audience and to automate email that's being sent to them in a very relevant way. And guess what? We have an unlimited number of pieces of content on our website because we've got 10,000 products that people really, that's what they're really here for. So that's the content. We don't have to build anything new. So you might have visited our website, looked at those three items. We fire them back at you in a shopping cart, of, or it's a window shopping email. 
Um, and we pepper them in with related items so we're not too creepy. We actually tried only sending the items we looked at and people were like, you are freaking me out, man. We got a lot of complaints about that. Um, so we pepper them in, we try to make it look less creepy. Um, and it's been super successful. Um, this program has blown away the card abandonment program. Um, it's blown away all of those uh, post-purchase email support uh, things. So super high, uh, super high open rates, super high click-through rates. I mean, 25% click-through rates. That's like again similar to like a transactional email. And this is all automated based on people clicking through an email and shopping on our website. So this is our email revenue pie chart, right? A year ago, a year and a half ago, we only had this pretty much in transactional email. These two are the new, the new uh, revenue components made up of these two programs I'm talking about. The, the trigger mail stuff is powered by a technology called trigger mail, abandoned cart, abandoned site. It's a massive segment. It's like 30% of our revenue. A smart marketer says, who cares? Like, tell me about your, your true uh, A-B test. So we did that. We held out a control, um, and we took a control and didn't send them things. People who would have qualified for these programs, we didn't send it to them. Um, their revenue per visit for the ones that did get it were 29% higher compared to the control that didn't get the email. So it's definitely shown a significant lift and contributed a lot to our email program. And it's been successful. There's a lot, lot, lot more we can do. And trust me, especially for the people who know Evo well, Will, it's probably like, dude, you suck. You know it. <laughs> There's a lot we can do better. But those are a couple of things that have been working pretty well. So that's it.